Hi everyone, I have Rosalina up on the milk stand. I'm about to milk her out. But first we're going to do just a very brief anatomy lesson on this part of the goat. Now, I'm not going to be talking about the udder specifically, but Daniel asked me a very important question uh, yesterday about the goat's knee. He said, Dad, our knees bend backwards, but the goat's knee bends forward. But why does the goat's knee bend forward? And so I explained to him that the goat's knee actually does not bend forward, that the goat's knee bends backwards just like ours. Hey, thank you for watching our video. If you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe. JoJo would really appreciate it. Okay, can we? Yeah, there we go. The goat's foot is down here. This is the leg and this is the knee and this is the hip. No, that's not the hip. So, let's look at this. This is look at this. This is the Achilles tendon right here. You can see I can... It's very thin. It's just skin. Two layers of skin. Layer on the front, a layer on the back. You can actually see your fingers through the skin area. Now, Rosalina is a very placid goat, okay? I could not do this with parsley and. But this joint right here is actually the ankle, okay? These are the metatarsus bones in here. These are the phalanges. The fingers are the toes, if you will, okay? Oh, look. Oh, the camera's doing weird things. These are called the dew claws down here. These are toenails. The hooves are toenails. She has four toenails down here. These two are actually cues. There are five little toes together. The metatarsus bones are fused together. This bone, this is the tibia, okay? This is the patella right here, way up here, okay? I'm going to adjust the camera again, I think. Okay, there we go. This is the knee joint up here. This is the femur. Quit leaning into me, sweetie. This bone is the femur. This is the hip, okay? The pelvic bones are right here. Here's the spine that comes down. The spine comes all the way down to here. We have ligaments here. We have, this would equate to our gluteus muscle. This muscle here. And so the knee actually bends the same direction that our knees bend. And the ankle that Daniel was looking at and thought was the knee actually bends the same way that our ankle does. And what we normally call hooves are actually toenails. We have roosters and geese and ducks. Lots of hens and even some emus right here with us. They're all begging for food. Right now, Rosalina's the only one that I have fed. We only feed the goats while they're up on the milk stand. They only get grain. I wanted to give a little anatomy lesson about goats today. This is the ankle. It's not the knee. The knee is way up here. Way up here. This is the knee. This is the hip. This is the femur. This is the tibia. These are the metatarsus bones. The fingers and toes, if you will. 
but let's look up. These are the toenails. This is the Achilles tendon. You can squeeze this on the goat, and then you can move that leg wherever you need to while she's up on the milking stand. Watch out, sweetie. When I'm milking parsley, she tries to get as far away from me as possible. When Rosalina's up here, she tries to get as close to me as possible. And she'll actually lean in on my head and press against me. And if I move, she'll actually fall off into my lap because... But she was a bottle baby, and we we fed her since she was about a week old. She's lived here with us. Now this is Parsley Ann. She she doesn't kick as much anymore. What she does is she scrunches down. Makes things very difficult for me. And again, she tries to get as far away from me as possible. I have to move her leg out of the way repeatedly. She still scrunches down. And only then am I able to milk. It gets to be ridiculous. But we love her. And we're thankful for her. I'm glad she's here. And we're glad she produces yummy creamy milk. <laughs>